Okay, as promised, I want to just take a minute here with this video and show you how to check the viscous coupler in your 249 or 229 transfer case. Now the thing is, if your coupler is bad, um, you can buy a rebuilt case, but who knows what kind of shape they're in. I guarantee them. But the, the fact is, you, I've searched and searched and I cannot find a viscous coupler for a 229 case. So we're going to test this one and uh, although we know that the vehicle does go forward in two-wheel drive, uh, who knows what this viscous coupler is like. So let me show you what we have here. So here we have in the in the vise we have a side gear set up and it has the uh, locking uh, spline on here and this is the the gear that goes into the uh, viscous coupler and uh, is used on the spider gears. Basically that viscous coupler is kind of like a, a differential, uh, locking differential. Alright, let me get the coupler. We'll set that up there. Right, this is a viscous coupler and you can see that it does look like spider gears in here. Well that's what it is. But it rides inside a viscous drive. Now the bottom, you see these notches? They go in with the notches here that lock this, this part of the case in. So let's go ahead and drop that on. Okay, we're down. Now you want to have a couple of wood blocks in here when you clamp this up. You don't want to get overly tight. You're, you're only looking for 25 pounds of torque to see if this thing is good. So, but tight enough to hold it. But if you get crazy, you just might break something. All right, let's look at the, this is the output shaft, main output shaft. You see it also has a spider drive on it. This, uh, this actually is the oil pump, which, uh, circulates oil through the system. Now this just dropped right on top there. Now I've already assembled the yoke onto the shaft. So now we're looking see we don't we don't have any movement here trying to go trying to go forward and backward. So we will take our handy let's see this would be probably 50 years old, this, this old industrial torque wrench. And I, I chose it because it has a, has a needle on there that I can see as I'm turning what the torque is. So we put this up here and we want to make sure it stays down in the, in the housing here. And let's turn it. Now you can see that it is turning. And so what's the torque? Well, we're probably 12 PS, 12 pounds torque here. 12 pound feet of torque, okay? So, four foot pounds, however you want to say it. All right, we are turning a little bit in the, in the wood. Yeah, we're at 12. The good news is it still functions. The bad news is that it's really no good. Uh, so if I had a choice, I wouldn't put it back in the case. I'd replace it. But at this point, I have no choice. And the fact that it still does function means that uh, we can uh, use this until we can find an, uh, an alternative. Okay, so we will uh, we will have to reuse this. Um, at some point, we'll have to make, do something alternative. You can put a, a, a 244 Jeep case in here, but there's a few things involved. A 242 is actually a bit smaller, and so you'll need to um, 
stretch out your drive line a little bit and you need a slip yoke eliminator and some other things but it is doable but we don't want to have to do that uh, unless we can find no other alternative so that's it uh, pretty easy way to check your viscous coupler and I don't know of any that I've ever looked at that weren't bad so here you go thanks for watching and the next video we will be reassembling the uh, 229 transfer case.